Hey everyone, welcome back to Build, Tune, Race, and we're not building, tuning, or racing today. We're doing something a little bit different, huh? Buying a Harley. Ooh, all right, let's go inside. All right, guys, so we're up here at Sun Harley in Denver. Let's go inside, see if we can find this bike we've been looking for. All right, guys, you ready to see it? And here we go. That's a white 2024 Road Glide with chrome exhaust. It's like the accent thing, but it matches salty. So we had to go with matching salty. You have to keep everything similar and the same. But uh, we're the proud owners of a new bike. Yay! <laughs> so this is Carrie. She's been helping us today. Thank you very much. She's got our plate. Find all the papers, got all the payment stuff figured out, spent a whole bunch of money. But we got a new motorcycle. So we're gonna go over this thing with everybody and then get it outside. And then we gotta drive all the way home on it today. So she's gonna get us a plate on the bike so we don't get pulled over in too much trouble. But uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. This thing is cool. It's got all sorts of a big old screen on it, kind of like the race car and infotainment. And I've been watching way, way too many YouTube videos on these things, which then obviously talks me into buying one. And now here I am making a video about them. All right, so we're good to go? We're just about? Yes, just about. He's gonna go over your bike with you. All right, so if somebody wants to come ride one of these or maybe come buy one, what should they do? My name's Carrie and I work at Sun Harley. Come see us. Perfect, awesome. It's been super easy. They have a ton of bikes to choose from. I got a bunch of road glides, like literally gray. This was my second choice, like gray chrome. I like that, that's the base model. That one's actually the cheapest. And then they got this kind of other silver, a white and black. So that's like the one we're getting, but white, black. And they got blue, whiskey fire. That's a 23 CVO. And then they got like these crazy ones that this is, I don't know if this is 24, but CVO, yeah, I think so. But 121, but these things are like 40 or 50 grand, pretty crazy, but they are super sick. They have a, like a titanium exhaust on them and stuff, like smoked, like they're pretty cool. Different wheels, just, just upgraded all the things. And then Street Glide's gray, Whiskey, Blue, and a bunch of other bikes. All right guys, so this is Brad. He's here to help us go over the new bike and learn all the cool things about it. So let's do it, huh? <laughs> Brad, I'm a service manager down here at Sun. We're gonna do a quick walk through the motorcycle. Um, first and foremost, we want to make sure all of this is set up correctly for you. So we're going to get you sitting on the bike. Cool. We want to make sure the handlebars are adjusted, the controls are adjusted where it fits Perfect. you so you're comfortable. New for 24, of course, aside from the awesome infotainment system, which we'll get to in a minute, uh, the new features of the new headlights um, will give you a water. Yeah, this is like the biggest thing. I didn't love the old one, and now the new one, like to me, this way modernizes the bike Absolutely. looks way cooler function wise gives you a wider spread of light on the road and they punch the distance it goes out is also improved Safe. over 23 um, nice to be able to see in the dark uh, <laughs> yeah saddlebag side capacities we have the one touch saddlebags so quick lever cool. quick easy open from sitting on the bike um, or off to the side if you decide you want to take the saddlebags off these just unscrew oh unscrew nice those. super easy bike picks right up and off again one touch close same thing both sides um, your bike already has the dock and hardware on it. That's something we set up for all the 24s that we do. So it's backrest ready. Yeah, we actually bought a backrest. We'll put that on when we get home awesome. for, we can take April for a ride. <laughs> awesome. Um, also, from adjustability, just from a comfort standpoint, we want to make sure the shifter, like looks like the shifter on this one's up a little bit high. So we want you to sit on it. This one's way, way high. So we want cool. to get that dialed in for you. Perfect. Uh, while you guys are here, we'll get all of that stuff adjusted so it fits you perfectly. Um, other cool features of the 24 are the uh, fairing compartments that they offer again stash all your goodies sunglasses all that fun <laughs> stuff um it's got all the connections all the pieces and there 117 inch uh engine from harley Milwaukee. these are like water cooled heads now right yeah. and stuff yeah. yeah they're twin cooled so yeah you got the gotcha coolant bottles so you can see got it levels, so something to keep an eye on okay on the coolant side and you should not have to mess with it uh radiator set up in the front uh, of course horns all that fun stuff down there sure um infotainment side that's probably my favorite part like yeah, this is seeing a bike like this and then seeing one with physical gauges it's just Absolutely. it dates the bike right Absolutely. and now uh super cool setup a little harder to see it's gonna here. flash and blink probably because of the frame rate guys but we might go over some more stuff with a different uh, camera too but just know it's it's pretty sick <laughs> so we've got options again uh quick Tells you where you are gear wise, gear selector, it gives you the quick Perfect. directions, all that fun, easy stuff uh, that's important to know. You get into your menu section here is where you start controlling your music, uh, settings nice. on the bike. We can get all that stuff going for you. And it's touchscreen too, right? Yes. Yeah, right. that's cool. So we can go in. Oh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Things gonna have CarPlay, music. I've 
rode a lot of bikes, never anything with any sort of like front fairing or music or any of the creature comforts. This is hopefully why we're going to want to ride this thing a lot further than anything else I have. The coolest feature on the new ones is the ride modes. The oh, ability yeah. ability to select and trans and shift between ride modes. So you've got your road mode, standard, everyday riding, normal, uh, normal conditions. It changes all of your features. It changes the braking rate. It changes your cornering handling. It changes your acceleration. Nice. Input, throttle input. Uh, down on sport mode, it's going to give you more suspension response, uh, faster throttle responses, stuff like that. If you go down to your range mode, it's just like it would seem. It kind of dulls some of those features, so it's a little less aggressive. Um, it's kind of like built-in, like tunes that just, right. yeah, so that's awesome. Provide for the conditions that you're in. Uh, best feature of it is the custom mode. It has one custom setting you could go in and adjust it to where you want it to be. If you nice. like a really aggressive throttle, but a little more braking control in the I see yeah you can dial all that stuff in specifically that's cool to you if you don't like the basic maps or the standard maps that it comes with uh, really cool setup and I can't imagine what the aftermarket's going to do for like with this ability right yeah, yeah. aftermarket catches up uh it's going to change yeah it'll be pretty crazy you can go down so again same section you go to your display it gives you your layout so right now you're in a cruise mode sure your layout you can change over to a sport mode which changes your gauge setup. Nice. It could, could, could shift over to our touring modes once you have the navigation of the Apple CarPlay enabled. That gives you your GPS, becomes this entire screen. Got it. Your, some of the standard features, again, fuel, miles per hour, range, all that good stuff. Your selector becomes much smaller on that side. Love it. Um, the standard is, again, is the is the crew setup. Um, Perfect. So, um, obviously, put your gas in gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's where it usually goes. Yeah, no doubt. Um, and that's, that's really the, the quick rundown of the bike, so we just need to get it dialed in, get it adjusted specifically Perfect. to you so it's comfortable for you to ride, especially for the distance you're about to do on it. Yeah. Sure it's comfortable. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm excited and nervous and all the things all at the same time. So I'm going to sit on this thing, we're going to get everything adjusted, and then hopefully go for a ride. As we got in a little bit of the nitty gritty with the shock adjustments, we pulled the bag off. We're looking at even in here where you service things or uh, I guess all your wiring and is that the computer? Can you see you? Yep. yep. Um, so then again, you got your fuse panel here, just like a car. It says, hey, this is my radio fuse. Got it. Pop that off. Normal fuses underneath there. It's got spares in there. There's accessory fuses. So you have something like that going on. Good place to check. Uh, what we're getting into, again, battery tender pigtails. We set them all up here for ease of keeping them plugged in on the showroom. Got car. it. Um, it could absolutely just be tucked in here. We can route it somewhere else. It can come out the bottom if you prefer it that way. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty easy, uh, though. Yeah, it's super straightforward. I'd say you guys have more experience in, with these things than I do, so we'll, we'll go there. Again, rubber drives, Super easy, yeah. Three pegs, pops right in. Easier than a door panel. Nice. Quick and easy. Going over just the last few things with security and the keys. And so you have to do. Well, even though Chris said nothing, I'm going to throw him in here anyway. And I want to say thank you. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's been pleasure. awesome. Yeah. I, I messaged him last night on Facebook. And here we are today buying a bike. So <laughs> it's, it's been pretty cool and super easy. So we're actually learning about security system right now. So uh, yeah, I'm still learning. Hi guys, I don't know if you can hear me, probably not. Just pulled out, time to head home. Got my music playing. Hold on, let me turn this down. We're up here in Denver, so, and it's a Friday afternoon. So it is, it's busy. There's cars everywhere. Well, hopefully you have a nice smooth ride home. We're, um, we're actually gonna go, we're actually gonna go east out to the airport and then take the toll road back. It's a uh, lot less traffic that way. So, gonna take it easy. April already got lost behind me after the first turn because of the traffic, not lost, but behind me. So, um, but two miles on the bike guys, two freaking miles on this thing we gotta stop and get gas at some point too so guys this thing is so cool I love the big screen. I was looking at used ones and just couldn't do it. I, once I found a good deal on a new one, we officially have our first mile on it.
We got, we got lost. I was messing with the Bluetooth trying to get my uh, CarPlay to work, but you have to have a headset connected. So the AirPods, I don't think work. I thought that was going to be a hack. I don't think it is, but all right, let's fix that. And now we're ready. First little stretch, I think we're around 30-ish miles. We're just south of Denver and we got like a hundred and something to go. So fill it up with gas or what I think fill it up with gas. Just, you know, we'll see when I turn on the infotainment center. I already got Got some little bugs on there, and we're uh, we're trucking. This thing rides great. It is getting a little cool, so I'm gonna throw my hoodie on. Maybe try to connect my phone at least just through Bluetooth in case April texts me or we got to pull over for something or whatever. But gonna go in here real quick and then get back on the road. made it home a hundred and let's see let's see what this thing is let's see where we ended up on this bad unit 143 miles so you guys can see now it's not flickering weird like it was earlier and stuff it's just frame rate and then at night you can see a little bit there i guess but uh man what a deal this thing rode so good i know this is totally different from our normal race car content but you know, it still has an engine and it's still dang fun to drive and ride around. And this is something that hopefully we can just go enjoy and do some more rides and have a lot of fun without necessarily working on it like we do the race car stuff. But don't worry, we got plenty of that stuff coming up this year too, as we do some more no prep and some racing around here in Colorado. But let me know what you guys think about the Harley. Let me know what you think about the bike content. I can get way better and like implement a deal where I can do the whole moto vlog thing and have like audio and talk into it. But this is just a quick go grab the bike and get it back and we'll see what we uh what we come up with so thanks guys for watching if you ever need a motorcycle make sure you hit up sun harley up there in denver if you're local and if not just go grab one and have some fun we'll see you guys in the next video